So a lot of people have been asking me what the cost of living is like here in New Zealand. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how much I pay for rent, food, petrol, and other expenses every week. And I'm gonna give you some tips and advice on how you could better budget and save money when living here. However, disclaimer, of course, some places in New Zealand are more expensive to live on than others. And it would also depend on your spending habits and your specific situation. The reason that I'm sharing my exact budget and expenses is to give you an idea of what it's like for me based on my situation and hopefully that could give you an idea of what the cost of living is like in New Zealand and be able to compare it to your situation. So the cost of living in New Zealand is actually pretty high at the moment and it's steadily increasing. So the first one I want to talk about is rent. So at the moment I don't own a house and we are currently renting a one bedroom sleep out. So I actually made a house tour video which is what you can see here in the background. So if you're interested to see what an average one bedroom house might look like in New Zealand then watch the video right here now for my situation we do live rurally and we live in a sleep out so it's like a I consider it kind of like a tiny home so for this house we actually paid $350 per week and that includes power so if power isn't included, I would say on average we'd probably be paying around $320 per week. Now, depending on where you live and how many bedrooms you might require, you would be paying higher prices than this, so it could range between $400 to $600. Now, if you're looking for cheap accommodation in New Zealand, your best option is actually to go flatting, which is very common here in New Zealand. So if you don't know, flatting is a living situation where you live with other people who might be your friends or other students, for example then you share the cost of renting an entire house so normally you could get your own room and sometimes uh, there are options where you get your own bathroom but you do have to pay more so if you just get a private room on average you could probably find a pretty good flat for around 200 to 250 dollars now if you want your own bathroom or if you're looking for something like that to give you an idea we were actually previously flatting before and we paid 280 dollars per week and for that we got our own office and our own bathroom as well as a walk-in closet and a separate bedroom. So if you want to save on accommodation expenses and you don't mind living with other people, then I definitely recommend looking for a flat instead. So that's that for my accommodation expenses. So now, how much do I spend on food and groceries every week? So I actually order HelloFresh and if you don't know, HelloFresh is a company which I believe is in Australia and in New Zealand. And how it works is that you select the number of meals that you want each night night so you could either select three four or five meals for two or four people and they deliver to you all the ingredients that you need in a box and basically give you the recipe and all you have to do is follow the recipe and cook your own food but it's a really handy way to save time so for a hello fresh box for five meals for two people that costs us $130 per week. Now, also setting aside extra expenses on top of that, for example, just basic groceries such as milk, bread, eggs, all that kind of stuff, I like to put aside at least $50 per week. So overall, food would roughly cost $180 to $200 maybe for two people. So I personally really like ordering HelloFresh because it saves me time from having to think about what food we're gonna eat. And also, I'm just not the type of person who likes to make my own meals I prefer following it and it's just so much easier I know that a lot of people would say that it's more expensive and if you just buy your own groceries it's cheaper but personally I think it's cheaper because I found that when I was doing my own groceries in the past I would usually be buying more than what I actually need and some of the food would go to waste so the good thing about HelloFresh is that you get the exact ingredients that you need and nothing goes to waste and they do actually have pretty good servings as well now my tip for saving money on food aside from potentially ordering HelloFresh boxes there are other companies that offers the same kind of service I also recommend going to fresh local markets to buy cheaper fruits and vegetables for example because they can get quite expensive so now time for my travel course so Guido my partner and I so we both own 
separate cars because we need to use it to travel for work so the average price for petrol right now is approximately three dollars and there's actually a fuel tax cut at the moment where the government um, cut fuel prices by 25 cents but this is going away by mid-august so that means that fuel prices are gonna increase so on average at the moment I spend around $60 per week on petrol and that's on a 1.5 liter car now of course depending on the type of car you have you might spend more on fuel and it also depends on how often or how far you have to drive each day to work so that's how much I pay for petrol Guido on the other hand and also pays roughly about the same because he has to travel around for work a lot so for two people on average we're spending about $120 to $150 per week on petrol now if you want to save money on travel costs or fuel then I recommend to buy a car with a lower tank capacity or that's fuel efficient or there's actually a an app in New Zealand that I don't think many people know about it's called gas buy and it actually compares the fuel prices in your area and it tells you which gas, gas station has the cheapest fuel price so that's quite handy when you're trying to save money on fuel and also a lot of gas stations offer discounts on some days so if you're smart you can just go to the petrol station that's offering a big discount on a certain day now for other expenses we do pay for our own internet and for us we are currently paying 140 dollars per month and that's for 300 gigabytes of uh, internet now that is slightly more expensive than what other companies offer but because we live rurally it's the best choice that we have we have tried cheaper options but the connection just isn't that good that's why we decided to go for this specific company and we do have pretty good internet now if you want fiber connection then normally that would be more expensive but on average under $40 per month for two people for 300 gig is actually quite plenty now I also pay gym membership so I pay seven dollars per week for a gym membership and as far as I'm aware, this is the cheapest option in New Zealand and this is through City Fitness which is a pretty popular gym here in New Zealand and this is their cheapest membership option. Now other gyms could be more expensive or it depends on what specifically you're looking after or what type of utilities you're after so it could range from 15 to 20 dollars per week another cost we have is a phone so making sure that i have internet and text and calls available on my phone now this is probably optional for some people who don't really require that but for me personally i like to make sure that i have credits to text or call for example when there's an emergency and that i have internet anytime i want so the monthly cost that i I pay for my phone which gives me unlimited calls I believe there's also 200 text and 1.5 gigabytes of data every month that costs me $20 and that's the same for Guido now Guido doesn't have it regularly but if we add it on average we're, we're spending $40 per month for our phone bills then there's also Netflix which is currently $18.50 per month. So in total, based on the expenses that I've just said, that averages about $750 per week now of course those are the the basic costs but of course we need to put aside funds so for emergencies or if you need money for car maintenance so for this on average I put aside $50 per week now I also like to put aside money for leisure activities or sometimes we like to have takeaways once a week um, and we like to go out and do all sorts of activities like bowling and all that kind of stuff you know the fun stuff in life so for that I like to put aside at least $50 per week each that's a hundred dollars per week for the two of us and that could vary a lot depending on the person uh, but for me because I also like to travel a lot and I do YouTube stuff you can imagine that there are costs associated to that so I like to put aside money um, specifically for these kinds of things so if we put aside money for emergencies and just leisure activities that costs me on average hundred fifty dollars per week so the overall expenses for the two of us or for two people to live a pretty comfortable life where we still have money to do um, activities and leisure activities 
we spend on average $900 to $1,000 per week and that's for two people. Now that is a lot of money and it is quite expensive and I think a lot of people don't realize the cost of living in New Zealand. Now I also have other costs that I didn't mention because it specifically applies to my situation but to give you an idea I put aside money for savings which a lot of people probably do as well and at the moment we're saving for a trip to the Philippines because we're going there at the end of the month and I like to put aside on average at least $100 per week. I also send money overseas to support my sister who's currently studying, so that costs me $100 per month. So our actual overall expenses per week for two people, including savings um, and everything like that, to live a pretty comfortable life for two people, you need to have at least $1,000 per week after tax, so that means that's $52,000 per year so to add tax on top of that you probably look at earning between 70 to 80 thousand dollars for two people to live a decent comfortable life here in new zealand so those are all my weekly living expenses here in new zealand so i hope that gives you an idea of the average cost of living here in new zealand now again depending on where you live it could be more expensive and it also depends on your specific situation if you have a family and um, then your cost of living would be much higher there are definitely ways to save money as I've mentioned before and it's all about just being smart with your budgeting and your spending habits if you're interested to learn more about what it's like to live and work here in New Zealand make sure to check out the other videos in my channel where I create and share videos about my experiences and living and working here and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button down below I would really appreciate it so thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time see ya